<laughs> what they mean, when they say their mate's a bit of a character, what they mean is when you're not looking, you put his cock in your pint. <laughs> they say, don't they, they say that political correctness has gone mad. And I think that might be true, actually, because uh, I was at the zoo the other day and I got told off and I said, look, there's a mongoose. Can't say that anymore. No. <laughs> Special needs goose, that's what you got to say. <laughs> isn't it? It's gone mad. You know? I saw a puffer fish, I thought, I'm not saying a word. <laughs> there were some alternative punchlines to that joke, and I thought I stepped away from them. One of them I was a bit concerned about. I thought, oh, and I wasn't sure. I thought, oh, maybe it's racist, I'm not sure. And I didn't obviously didn't want it to be racist. I don't think I'm, not, I'm racist, I'm not racist. And if it turned out it was racist, I'd be a bit knackered, right? Because none of my best friends are black. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have no excuses. <laughs> I hate that. You know, people have been accused of racism. They always come out and go, oh, that Weasley excuse. No, oh, some of my best friends are black. It's, oh, it's horrible. Yeah. Jade Goody did it on Big Brother, wasn't it? She was, she was racist, wasn't she? She wasn't very racist. Didn't have an armband on. But, uh, <laughs> put it this way, she ain't going to win a mobo. <laughs> and she comes out and goes, uh, no, I'm not racist. Some of my best friends are black. This is, oh. You know, people don't do it for other things, do they? I'm not a murderer. Some of my best friends are alive. <laughs> I'm not a paedophile, so my best friends are kidding. Well, that doesn't work, does it? Yeah. <laughs> I always amazed that, you know, when people start... Sometimes people start rounds of applause and they lose confidence. You know, they go... Oh, no one else joins in. <laughs> and sometimes they must think, that's ah, just a three-clap joke, that is, mate. <laughs> that's your lot. <laughs> Got a bit of a character in. Brilliant. <laughs> I love having a character in the room. Wee! You know those people who say, you know, oh, you've got to meet my mate, he's a right character. Ooh. You know, my advice is don't get your hopes up. <laughs> no. What they mean, when they say their mate's a bit of a character, what they mean is when you're not looking, you put his cock in your pint. <laughs> one of the things I've been quite interested in asking audiences as I travel around is, in different towns and cities is, is about the environmental question. You know, it's about global warming, climate change. Is that something people here, people here in London, is that something you're concerned about? Do you know? <laughs> All right, so some quite strong yeses, a few... No! <laughs> no, I'm just interested. I'm interested in why some people care and other people couldn't give a shit. Some people, quite happily, they'd fly to the shops, wouldn't they? <laughs> if EasyJet did a, we'll fly you to the shops deal. <laughs> Brilliant, I'm in, yeah. I could bring back more patio heaters. <laughs> so the cat's nice and warm in the garden. <laughs> While their neighbours could be shivering, you know, drinking puddle water. Chucking a sausage backwards and forwards, trying to heat it up. Because <laughs> some people really care, don't they? Some people, every single piece of environmental news mortifies them, like the ice caps are melting, <laughs> sea levels are rising, <laughs> the samba button on a Yamaha organ uses ten times more energy than any other rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it off! <laughs> and I care, I do care. You're not as much as I used to. I went to America, and when I came back, I thought, what's the fucking point? <laughs> Why do I bother? You do. You, you do. You go there, you go there, you think, this is wasted party time. I mean, we have big cars over here. Cars in America are enormous. You know. The average car is like a bungalow with a windscreen. <laughs> <laughs> On every level, the consumption is so much more extreme than ours. You know, OK, but I just feel stupid. I'm at home, right? I'm, I'm recycling, washing out Marmite pots. You know? <laughs> 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 Let's get all the Marmite out. <laughs> so they don't have to make another one. <laughs> <laughs> and they're drilling for oil in Alaska. <laughs> Mopping it up with a seal pup. Like that. <laughs> well, so, I mean, I, I do. I appreciate I'm a lucky man, you know, but I'm just a bloke. Every now and again, I like to skive. You know, I think it's a man's thing. I just like to skive off for a bit. And if I get enough time, I like to go to my favourite shop, which is Lidl. <laughs> oh, I love Lidl, don't you? Oh, I can feel a few brethren out there going, yeah. <laughs> 
I like it down there too. What I like about it is because I don't recognise any of the products. <laughs> it's like being on holiday, isn't it? <laughs> it's somewhere like Moldova. <laughs> I just go, I don't know what stuff is. I go, oh, look at that, scronschbloff. I don't know if it's butter or mastic. <laughs> Often I just buy loads of stuff just to take it home and see what it is. <laughs> Look at this, love. Puffin hearts. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, a bit like olives. <laughs> oh, look at this. Wasps cooked in their own business. Mm. <laughs> And one other thing I like about it is, is that they've kept everything pretty basic. It's very simple, isn't it? You know, it's less a supermarket, more like some kind of famine relief centre. <laughs> <laughs> but what I really like about it down there is, is, is at the checkout, they don't offer you the bag for life, do they? They don't go in for what I call the bag for life shit. <laughs> don't give me that motherfucking bag for life shit, lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that confuses them. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I know, I hate that. I hate the bag for life thing. I, I think because I'm out shopping. I don't want to think about my own death, you know? <laughs> I'm just getting a few bits and bobs. Don't want to consider the end. <laughs> Ain't no bag for life? You know what? I'm not even sure if I want these genitals for life. <laughs> I don't believe in God. I think we're on this planet once. Why not try everything? That went down well, didn't it? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, like I say, I'm bad for my pub. Not that bothered about it, though, because since the smoking ban, you know, I mean, it's, there's no joy or pleasure to be had in a pub anymore for me. <laughs> I'm so pissed off about it. Still, really pissed off about it. Because that was my main thing in life, was having a pint and a cigarette. You know? When I say main thing, another way of looking at it is all I've got. Because <laughs> I realise now, I don't go to the pub, I don't have any hobbies or interests, you know. My brother said, why don't you come fishing? I said, I want to do that. That's basically going dogging without the sex, isn't it? <laughs> Hours out in the open, you're bound to catch something, aren't you? <laughs> then there's the old dilemma, kill them or let them go. <laughs> <laughs> I am really pissed off about it. And I smoke roll-ups as well. I mean, they're virtually salad. <laughs> I count them as part of my five fruit and veggie day. A couple of roll-ups, apple and some broccoli. <laughs> fiddle some fiddle. <laughs> Probably a lot better for you than those salads you get in McDonald's. I couldn't believe it when they started selling salads. Could you? I thought, it's just ridiculous. It's the last place on earth I go for a salad. McDonald's. I'd go to Pronto Print before I went there. <laughs> but I am, I'm really pissed off about it. The thing that really annoys me about it is, there's no, it's it, it's a final decision. There's no higher authority. They've just made a decision. You can never smoke in a pub again. There's, there's no way you can appeal to, you know? You know, if you've done a murder, I didn't mean that like we've all done one, but <laughs> you can go, look, come on, honestly, it wasn't me, you know, you can appeal. Well, that, this, there's no, you know. For a while, I was so pissed off about it, I was thinking about going to see The Wizard of Oz, see what he could do. That's how, <laughs> that's how I thought, well, I'll just go and see The Wizard of Oz, that's it, you know. I didn't go, because I'm not actually mental. You know. <laughs> I thought it'd be quite good to go and see him, have a contemporary new trip with modern problems to go and see. Like, why do you want to go? I can't get reception on my phone. <laughs> It'll sort it out. What about you? I've got ice cream headache. Hey! 